Try a video visit the next couple of days if a health problem is not an emergency. Well, that's the advice from doctors, some of the crucial first responders gearing up to help people through possible blizzard conditions these next couple of days. Catherine Merck joins us from outside SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital with how they're prepping there. Catherine? Staff at SSM Health says that they're preparing to sleep in hotels or stay right here at the hospital in order to make sure that they can help patients during this winter storm. It's their goal to make it to work so that way people like you stay home. It's going to be pretty brutal in terms of temperatures. At SSM Health in Madison, the hospital is trying to make sure they're inside their facilities and you're not. Dr. Kyle Martin in the emergency medicine department says these temperatures we're expecting can do a lot of harm to your body. Frostbite can happen really quickly and obviously hypothermia can as well. Um, and at these temperatures, you know, exposed uh, hands and feet, even for a brief period of time, can end up uh, being injured from, from frostbite for sure. First responders like them are the people that have to go to work even when you don't. For people like them who need to travel, it's important to stay prepared. Have uh, an extra set of boots and, you know, a shovel and a blanket, you know, some emergency supplies in your car if you do need to venture out. It's similar advice at other hospital systems. If you don't have to travel, and we know that as we're kind of watching the conditions, you know, to kind of be mindful of that, you know, stay home. At UW Health, they're reminding people to get rid of other things that could shift your focus during this tough weather to drive in. Trying to reduce those distractions that you might have in that vehicle. So if you have, um, you know, your cell phone, those types of things. And while tomorrow might be another day of work for Dr. Martin, it's his hospital's goal to make sure tomorrow's trip to the hospital is an expected one for him, but not for you. I'll be working 6 p to 1 a.m. tomorrow, and so you still have to find a way to get here and back safely. And again, if it's at all possible, this would be the, the time to stay home. Another thing SSM Health is telling people to be aware of is snow blowers. They say this time of year they get so many people coming into the emergency room for injuries from those machines. So if you plan to clean up the results of this upcoming winter storm using a snow blower, make sure to be careful when your hands get close to the machinery and operate it carefully. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now.